what up YouTube here's another video I'm going to talk about how I developed or what are things I did to develop the front end mechanics in all of my athletes not some of my athletes but all of my athletes especially here in Arizona it's no secret out there that front end mechanics are important um, if you want to be fast or faster um, if you want to develop you know if you look at a lot of elite sprinters you know front end mechanics is extremely important there are some outliers out there when it comes to front end I believe uh, Kathy Freeman is one of them that comes to mind. I'm sure I can find some more if I sat here and think thought about it for a second. But front end mechanics is huge. One way that front end mechanics was um, or one drill that's out there that is circulating. You see it. I see it everywhere. Is the wicked drill that was uh, created by Vince Anderson. Vince Anderson was a uh, he's a track coach. Um, he coaches a lot of things, I believe. But either way, he created the drill. It was something that um, I was introduced to many, many years ago. Uh, and I, I just kind of just, over time, I started to develop it for myself and for my athletes as I started to get more coaching. So, but for me and my athletes, especially the ones that were needed some development, you know, the wicked drill was not the best drill again, but I call it the striker because I just think that sounds cooler when I'm talking to my athletes because I want them to get their foot down. And that's what I believe the purpose of the wicked drill is to get the foot down, the opposite leg is attached. So it just follows and it honestly creates more more of a front end mechanic, or at least it should, um, for an athlete. So my wicked drill or my thing that I use on a regular basis with every athlete, old, young, in between, I even do it myself, this cheap thing called a jump rope. Uh, the jump rope is very cheap, very simple. Um, I can't say we all have done it because, you know, we're in a different time. Back when I was growing up, you know, uh, yeah, it was always in the, on the playground, the, the color one, I'm thinking of the blue, the white one, and the, it was blue, white, and red. I remember now. But anyway, so this, besides the front end mechanics, the jump rope develops, um, a lot of other different things like, you know, the low, the low limbs, the lower limbs of the body, you know, thinking about the foot, um, the arches, it helps out there, uh, Keely strength, you know, calf strength. And just coordination in general of, you know, the timing, you know, when the rope is getting around, the timing to get your foot off the ground to uh, to get to, to be able to jump rope. So I use that and tried to create as many different things in that that I'm going to share here that that helped me with front end mechanics with my wonderful athletes that I've coached. So leaning too far forward in your waist um, when you're running, let's just say top end, your top end, you're, you're supposed to be a rec spine posture position. And when I'm teaching that, you know, the wicked does a great job of, of, like I said, if the athlete is developing and strike down and keeping the spine erect. But a lot of times, a lot of athletes, um, they lean forward at the waist. And sometimes when they lean forward, they create a leakage out the back end in the sense of not recovering the heel back, um, fast enough. And what's great about the jump rope, the jump rope, as you swing it around and, you know, athletes get a little, I would say a lot of frustrated when they keep kicking the rope and I'm like, Hey, you need to get your, you need to get your toe forward. And then that doesn't work. Then I say, you need to get your quad forward or a thigh pop or on different things. And it helps me find out the right cue to help the athlete with their timing and coordination. Because once they figure it out, they're always excited. It's not always the easiest thing to, to say, you know, run in place now move with the jump rope, but it definitely helps, you know, to learn the cues that are important and the jump rope helps me do that in a in a in an amazing way, especially when I'm dealing with athletes who who honestly who are always told they were good. You know, we've all dealt with that, and there's just things they need to work on. Um, it, it helps. It's that other, in essence, coach. Where I'm like, if you were good at this, the rope wouldn't stop moving. One thing that I focus on, or one of the drills, is a skip. Once the athlete can understand just how to jump and as we run down the track and maybe I go 30 or 40 meters, I've had them even do a full lap to allow them to develop the technique that's needed for front end mechanics. But after they're developed and we're doing step over the knee, step over, I mean, step over the ankle, step over the calf, step over the knee. Um, I bring in the A skip and everybody, if you've played any sport, you know, or played ran track, a skip is, is one of the, it's a, it's a, it's a well-known drill in my opinion. But it also, when you add the jump rope to it, it brings that level of timing, that level of coordination and a level of awareness that the mental needs as you're developing um, to get to get faster. So that is that is important. So the A skip 
is one thing we do. I still do it. You know, it's, it, it it helps me with my core, it keeps me coordinated, I should say, because I always like to think that I'm super coordinated. But anyway, um, it's, it's huge. So a skip is, is one of the things. One go to is the backwards, doing the drill backwards, just running in place like you can have the athlete run in place with the jump rope. And then I'm like, all right, let's go backwards. And what's so cool about going backwards is this. When, a, when an athlete is going backwards, you can, depending on the athlete, you can tell or you should recognize the foot, the off foot, the, the leg that's bent, if their leg is wanting to kick forward or kick backwards. You know, what are they trying to do mentally to solve that problem of going backwards while they're spinning the rope? I do say turn the rope forward while they're going backwards. I don't, you know, a lot of times they think I got to turn the rope backwards. But in, in reality, you know, going forward and just moving the limbs backwards, it teaches me as they as how they're going to solve their problem and like i said if the heel is up and it kind of just wants to move forward and then the left heel let's say the right heel did that and the left heel does something different that te that allows me to know that there's some maybe disconnect when it comes to um coordination or just body awareness so going backwards is always good i don't recommend it you know to start out with you know develop those other things and it may take three to four weeks to develop that. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's sometimes and some athletes say it took me a year to get some of this stuff down because people come and they're with the athletes who've been with me for years and they get frustrated and they're always like, no, this takes time. So always remember it takes time. And the other one of the other drills is just jumping, just regular jumping. Sometimes we do the jump dorsiflexion up, you know, keep the toes up, toes up, toes up over and over. And then. You know, as they start to develop and get better at just jumping, even with moving forward and moving backwards, different things, working on different aspects of the Achilles, the calf, you know, like I said, the, the foot. Uh, once they develop it, we do a jump as high as you can and swing the rope twice, you know, and that's always a fun thing to watch when they, as they see, or, they, or as I see, I get excited too, because I still, uh, some of the stuff I can't do as well as I used to, but it's still good enough in my opinion. But anyway, I'm um, just double leg hops. And, and focusing on that. So those are three simple, I ain't going to say they're simple, but those are three things that I do when I focus on my athletes. So jump rope, again, it can help tremendously. It helps out a lot when it comes. It actually builds a lot of the athletes that I've been around. It builds their confidence, and especially when I bring them back to the wicked drill. They're super excited. Here's the conscious side I bring into every video I have. You know, finding information is easy but executing the information and applying it to make it work for you is the part that's tough. So that's what I'm doing here is trying to bring a little conscious understanding like, yeah, information is easy and people always can share and they say things like, hey, you know, I know that information or an athlete will say, no, I know. And I'm like, if you know, why did we keep going over the same thing? That means you don't know. So you don't know how to apply it. A lot of information we do know. A lot of people are extremely smart, especially these young people. They're they're extremely smart, but they just may not know how to apply information. So peace out, YouTube. Hey, folks, uh, thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, yeah. Hit that bell, you know, so you can know more about um, Swift Sundays.